All right, let's say we have this, um, this figure right here. And we want to express this force right here, this 1.2 kilonewton force, as a Cartesian vector. We want to, um, you know, write it in its component form. Uh, we'll calculate the quarter direction angles later, but right now we want to break that force into its components, and I notice I'm not given the angles. I'm just given some dimensions, right? I'm just given some dimensions. So if I see dimensions, I'm thinking F equals F U, and U is R over R, and R is how far does it go? Okay, so uh, let's let's think about this R, and let's look at this R. Now, I mean, it, it, it's kind of only drawn here, but I can go ahead and look at its its whole line of action. I can look at its whole line of action uh, because I'm dividing it by the magnitude. So no matter whether you take a small part or a long part, um, take the take the um, line of action that is easiest to see the dimensions. All right, so here R would be, all right, how far does it go in X? Now, it starts right up here, and it ends right hip here. It goes positive 0.8 in the I. How far does it go in the Y? It comes over 1.5 in the J. How far does it go in the K direction? Here's my Z axis. It's going down 2, so minus 2 in the K. That's my R. Uh, that has units of meters. Uh, what is the magnitude there? 0 0.8 squared plus 1.5 squared plus 2 squared. Take the square root. That would be 2.62. That would be 2.62. Okay, so now I think I'm ready. I, I, I know the magnitude is 1.2 and now I know R over R. So let's write this in its component form. Uh, this would be 1.2 times r.8 i plus 1.5 in the j minus 2 in the k divided by 2.62. Uh, so you see this has units of meters, but this also has units of meters that they cancel out. So I'm left with kilonewtons. So here this force would be 1.2 times 0.8 over 2.62. See, make sure you can do that. 0.366 in the I. Then here, this times 1.5 over 2.62 would be plus 0.688 in the J. And then this right here, 1.2 times 2, sorry, times 2 over 2.62. And there was a negative there, 0.916 in the K. All right, that has units are of kilonewtons. So that right there, that that's a big part of this problem. We just express the force as a Cartesian vector. All right, and now for a lot of these problems, they ask for the quarter direction angles. So you know, I I like to forget the figure, forget forget everything else, forget all this. If I'm given this force, I can calculate its quarter direction angles. Um, if I ask for, if I see quarter direction angles or ask for, or ask for quarter direction angles, I think F equals F U and U is cosine alpha I plus cosine beta J plus cosine gamma K. So here F equals, now I could, I could redo this magnitude, but I haven't added anything to this or subtract anything to this that, that should still be 1.2 kilonewtons. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, anyway, I, sorry. Let me redo this. Let me redo this. I know this already in component form. 0.366 in the I plus 0.688 in the J minus 0.916 in the K. I know the magnitude is still 1.2 but I don't know this, cosine alpha I plus cosine beta J plus cosine gamma K. All right, so this is really three equations in this one equation. It's the I equation. What's the I equation? On the left-hand side, 0.366. On the right-hand side, 1.2 cosine alpha. What's the J equation? 0.688, uh, 1.2 cosine beta. And the K equation 
is negative 0.916 1.2 cosine gamma. So from this I would get, sorry, alpha is 72.2 degrees. I would get beta is 55 degrees and I would get gamma is 140 degrees. Now a few things that you can double check. Actually one thing you can double check, you could double check that this cosine of that squared plus cosine of that squared plus cosine of that squared should add up to 1. That's one thing you can check. But also positive components should lead to acute angles and a negative component yeah that's greater than 90 degrees so that checks out also the largest one the largest magnitudes should be furthest from 90 degrees so either closest to 180 or closest to zero so this is you know clo getting closer and closer to um, 180 compared to the other two so just a few things that you can double check here for these corner direction angles to make sure they uh, make sense uh, you might want to do.